little weird today. Oh, you this is Linda's. Linda, what are tools are you using? Um, I have these bleedy pens from Japan um, or water soluble. They're SAI Japanese traditional colors. And they come in summer, fall, winter, and spring. And I like to just make a blended, messy background of colors and then come over the top with pen and ink. So it's something interesting to start with. Web. So, I'm Rachel, what uh, tools are you using? Well, I'm using my Nija water brush, and I'm using a small palette that I made uh, out of an Altoids box, huh. and uh, I call this the Velazquez palette, or the Dead palette, and it is it, it, that that's what it's actually called. It's French ultramarine burnt sienna and yellow ochre uh, and it's interesting to try and limit my work to those three colors because um, you can mix them and get some things and actually I was trying some mixing down here because uh, I didn't have a little palette to mix on so I'm mixing on the corner of my piece of paper <laughs> oh, okay. do you use ink too? I do, and my favorite pen, is, this is crazy, it's from the Smash Journals, and it has glue on one end, and it has ink on the other, and it just seems to be the right size point, and it always, uh, it, it is uh, permanent ink, and I just really like using it. And Okay, Diane, what are you using? Um, I have this watercolor palette from Windsor Newton, um, and it comes, these, these do not come with it, but I added a few more colors and moved things around the way I like them, and then um, I can fit extra things up here that are held in with that poster, poster sticky, tack. poster tack um, stuff. So I can have a few extra colors, that I like to have convenience colors um, and stuff. Why don't you have water in there? Because I have a water brush. I don't need water. Okay. Um, I can just squeeze the water brush and get extra water out, just like that. And what's on that paper above your palette? The, oh, the, I drew a little diagram of the of the palette and put little samples of the colors and their names next to the samples so that I can remember which ones are <laughs> because some things like yellow ochre and raw umber sometimes I get them confused especially when they're dirty like that one is <laughs> okay and then your painting um, I've been experimenting with painting watercolor just um, directly with no sketches, no pencil or, or pen, and usually the, the big shapes will go in with really light color and then successively add more shades, and it tends to give it a little more life, I think, than just trying to do the exact color the first time, especially since I don't usually get the right color right. <laughs> but. Um, and then I just put in the detail with the tip of this pen, brush pen, um, and just keep adding more and more and more layers. Here I'll probably put another layer here to give that a little more life. Hi Ann, what are you using today? Well, I started with my Lamy Safari um, fountain pen and that with a water soluble ink doing just a gesture drawing and then I decided to play with some color and letting the ink bleed and then I wanted to get some lights back so I went to my uh, Caran d'Ache 2 Neo Color water soluble crayons and they're awesome, they're really fun and so I'm just experimenting.
Okay, what about, what palette are you using? This is the Daler Rowney um, watercolor palette, and I find it stays really juicy, and all I have to do is spritz it a little bit, and I get very moist color. It's very easy, nice assortment of colors, and I'm really enjoying that. And this is just a brush that I happen to bring from my studio that I like. Only teasing, just because Ann and I were trying so hard to stay quiet. <laughs> Hi, um, I started my sketch with this uh, Pigma brush by Sakura and it's a nice brush pen that's permanent and I did just a quick sketch of the flowers and from there I moved on to my palette which is a Winsor Newton um, portable palette and I just added some color in here with my water pen. I'm using a Pentel water pen uh, and as I change my color I just use this sock to, to um, push water through the brush and onto my sock. Um, using a mechanical pencil, Pentel, and I drew my drawing first, and then um, I have this watercolor palette with the Charles Reed colors, and I use a Charles Reed uh, Kalinsky brush, and that's all. <laughs>